I welcome you all for this lecture series on 4G and 5G communication networks. In this lecture number 20, we will discuss about end-to-end -end system architecture in 5G. The studying end-to-end -end system architecture in 5G is important because it provides a comprehensive understanding of how 5G network functions from user devices to core infrastructures. It helps identify how 5G supports ultra-fast, low-latency communication critical for emerging technologies like IoT, autonomous vehicles, and smart cities. Knowing the architecture aids in optimizing network performance, ensuring security, and enabling uh, the uh, smooth integration with the legacy systems. Additionally, it offers insights into the role of edge computing and virtualization in enhancing scalability and efficiency in 5G networks. Next, we'll see how this architecture works. The end-to-end -end system architecture in 5G uh, represents a holistic design that provides a comprehensive framework for mobile communications, that is mobile telecommunications. It focuses on a smooth integration to uh, deliver a unified network experience, encompassing everything from the user's device to the core network and beyond. Key features of this architecture include enhanced connectivity, improved data transfer speeds, and low latency, which is essential for real-time applications. Overall, this architecture is designed to support a diverse range of applications and services, ensuring reliable and efficient communication across all layers of network. Next, user-centric uh, focus. The end-to-end -end architecture in 5C, uh, 5G emphasizes a user-centric focus aiming to enhance the experience for both consumers and businesses. It supports a diverse range of user devices from smartphone to IoT sensors, ensuring high speed connectivity and low latency for all. At the edge of this architecture lies the radio access network RAN, which consists of base stations and antennas. The RAN plays a critical role in connecting user equipment, that is the UE, to the network and facilitating efficient wireless communication and initiating the process of data transmission. This combination of user-centric design and robust connectivity ensures a smooth experience across various applications and uh, services. Next, core network uh, integration. The core network serves as, a, as the central component of 5G architecture, coordinating essential functions such as uh, data management, routing, and uh, service uh, delivery. Key component of this network include the control plane function CP which manages uh, signaling and user plane function it is responsible for routing data traffic. Additionally the core network incorporates advanced technologies like network functions virtualization that is NFV and the software defined networking SDN which enhances flexibility and efficiency in network management. This integration ensures that the network can adopt to varying demands and optimizes resource utilization, ultimately improving overall performance. So this is the, uh, the diagram of end-to-end -end system architecture. It consists of 5G RAN, 5G CO, that we are calling it as 5GC. This is the internet. And additionally, it has consists of UE, GNB, UPF. Uh, this is the user plane function. And this part is the control plane function. It consists of AMF, SMF, and uh, UPF. So the next one is uh, network slicing for customization 5G 
technology that is network slicing for customization and the 5g technology introduces a network slicing this we have seen in the previous videos allowing the creation of virtual networks within the existing physical infrastructure so within the physical infrastructure the slicing allows the virtual network this innovative approach enables each network slice to be tailored specifically for different applications or services by customizing these slices 5g ensures that performance and resource allocation align with the unique requirement of various use cases such as autonomous vehicles smart cities or remote healthcare this flexibility enhances efficiency and optimizes user experiences across a wide range of scenarios and uh, end to end security see here end to end security in 5g is architecture security is a fundamental priority ensuring the protection of data and user privacy robust security measures are integrated throughout the system including encryption and authentication protocols at multiple levels this compre comprehensive approach to security to security helps safeguard sensitive information and maintain trust in the network by addressing potential uh, things 5g provides a secure environment that supports growing demands of connected devices and services while protecting users against the threats this is the main advantage of using the 5g and edge computing for low latency the edge computing plays a crucial role in reducing latency by bringing the processing capabilities closer to the user devices this proximity is vital for applications that require immediate data processing such as autonomous vehicles and augmented reality where even slight delays can impact performance and safety by minimizing the distance data must to travel edge computing enhances responsiveness enabling these application to operate smoothly and effectively in real time scenarios next to the scalable cloud infrastructure what it will do is the 5g network utilizes scalable cloud services and data centers to efficiently support a diverse array of applications and services This cloud infrastructure allows for dynamic resource allocation which optimizes performance and adapts to varying demands as user needs change the scalable nature of this infrastructure ensures that resources are available and can be adjusted accordingly and providing the flexibility and efficiency in service delivery while supporting growing number of connected devices and applications so that is the main function of the scalable cloud architecture and coming into the uh, summary the end to end system architecture uh, in 5g is designed with a user centric approach and aiming to deliver a smooth and integrated experience for all users it supports a diverse range of devices from smartphone to iot sensors ensuring inclusivity inclusivity across the network inclusiveness uh, across the network and advanced technologies such, such as slicing and edge computing are integrated to enhance performance and responsiveness security see here next on us the security is a top priority with the measures in place to protect user data and privacy overall this architecture is capable of supporting a wide variety of application and services while maintaining high performance and reliability making it a robust foundation for the future telecommunications coming into the conclusion in conclusion the end to end system architecture in 5g represent a 
comprehensive integration of various components significantly enhancing overall network performance and user experience. This architecture is designed with a user-centric approach, focusing on delivering tailored experiences for a diverse range of devices and applications to meet the unique needs of different users. It incorporates advanced technological frameworks such as network slicing and edge computing, which optimize efficiency and responsiveness across the network. Furthermore, the security is prioritized through the embedding of robust measures at every level, ensuring the data protection and user privacy are maintained throughout the entire system. Together, these elements make 5G transformative force in telecommunications. And thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the information on end-to-end -end system architecture and 5G is valuable. Stay tuned for the next session where we will see deeper into the remaining concepts. See you next time. Thank you all.